hey guys so it's your favorite girl one ton welcome back to my youtube channel i've done this video like a million times but today i'm going to be doing with a very special person her name is toke that's okay lady can we say yo hello hey. everybody so she happens to be the alarinka, alarinka of africa Number and one. she <laughs> is in oyo akwaibum state so we're about to explore akwaibum together so we're going to have another video up on my channel telling you guys our experience about akwaibum so without no further to do let's hit the road so i'm not the normal you. person so you guys are going to be seeing some amazing content from us this time like bye you know what they say about forest you and know, community and you know you know <laughs> Um, this is your favorite girl, the alarming girl of Africa, and I'll be showing you guys Uyo Akwaibo. So stay tuned. Bye. My name is Omotoke, and I'm the alarming girl of Africa, and I'm right here in Akwaibo with At the One Top. Yo. And we are about to talk. You. What is that color? Exactly. People don't know what's coming at all. You don't know what's coming. They don't coming. know about like, it. We are coming. We are coming. <laughs> take it, take it, take it, take it. See the way we are glowing under the sun. See your forehead. Hey, ah. Lord, have mercy. Ha. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to the park where we were supposed to get bought a taxi to Ikot Abasi and uh, it cost how much? 800 how much? 800 naira okay so yeah we're going to Ikot Abasi this point is at Ekomiman junction so you can always ask anybody and the person is going to bring you here so just stay tuned hey guys so this is us leaving Uyo Akwaibum State. We went through three local governments to get to Ikotabasi. We went through Abak, we went through Etina, we went through Ona, and we finally got to Ikotabasi. This is my feet. I don't understand. Why am I going? Gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm glowing. at the war um, mem uh, women's war memorial museum so we're here i was here like about two months ago and the place wasn't open and i complained bitterly and i'm here and it's open so let's just see what is going on there i'm here with my travel buddy yeah. <laughs> so let's quickly explore this space tour of the museum for the first time i have been able to at like you know really enter this museum and see what's happening there so we're about to take a picture just here by this statue we were not allowed to take our cameras into the museum so we'll just take a picture here and there basically move on move on how this woman is beating the hell out of this man did man to show how strong the late the women in this region were they were so strong that the beat men they break guns and they do things and they still maintain their roles as women and housewives which is very amazing and interesting and the second one is the amalgamation we are at the amalgamation house lord lugat's office to be precise in ikotabasi akwaibom state like i said this is a very um uh updated vlog about ikotabasi and places you should visit in akwaibom state so this is the place that you really really need to be because you get to see his typewriter you get to see his office setup and how the building was i can't go into almost all the places because you know it's not not taking good, good care of all and i don't want to fall into a pit like I said, we are here we are here and we are here so be careful, don't walk there. Walk here. Pull it here. So, guys, this is Lord Lugat's office. This is his office. And uh, I think this side is kind of locked. It's not locked, though. Yeah, so this is. No? So, this is like way. 
part of this office sir. like if you watch my no, other no, video no. i talked about this place is it Lord office? yeah this is Lord office oh. yeah so see his typewriter the one he used to use at that time and uh yeah this is his office Lord this office. is what we do as tourists even though i can't get to that point because this place looks like it looks pretty funny the <laughs> feels like i'm going to fall or something so i'm just going to mind myself you see and go back to her so i don't know but i feel like they can do better with this place we could do better yes nigeria we could do better and take good care of this place of we're going to the lord lugat's house So guys this is the lord lugat house but currently people are living here so we won't we won't want to make a nuisance we won't want to create a nuisance so we just look at everything and i feel like this is very fine the structure is beautiful and uh it's amazing so guys we're we're actually done with this tour like oh my god see the way the sun is like i know it's very bold but we're done this is lolugat's former house and uh yeah we just finished taking pictures and doing like a little tour like i said before there are people living there so we didn't have much time to enter the rooms and see how the rooms actually really looked but basically i think the lighting is perfect here so we just did a tour of the lolugat house and we're working towards the tomb where um the women it's more like a remembrance spot for the women who fought the war in i'm gonna put the year there and that's Toke. Nice to oh yeah Bye. she's she's a brainy Guys, we're taking a walk to we're taking a walk to the point of no return and uh yeah i don't know if you could see that's the great land of okoba and that boy is on the hand anthill i don't know what he's doing on that anthill baby boy what are you doing here so guys we just ran into a lady named esther aqua and she met us and she just walked up to us and she's like she wants to take a picture with us guys we've blown it's okay we've not blown there we are blown we we, we are celebrities we are we are still alive you know they want to take a picture with us <laughs> guys we are at the bridge of no return and as the other video i'll say read and read and read that's the only way you understand what we're about to show you I won't be talking too much, but I think I'll do a voice over. So guys, we're leaving the point of no return now. We're going to the Otaiwa beach. So basically, I'm going to show you our plug. He's been helping us, taking us through Ikatabasi. So in case you come, you you want to come to Ikatabasi, I'm going to put his his number in the description box. So you can so this is him. Come. He's very humble and very patient. You would have, like it would have been, it would have been a case of oh, it's me. No, mm. she stopped on and asked like oh, a few questions. Are like, yeah, to, are you are you part of the group? Are you yes? Are you, you a tourist? Are you, yes. <laughs> oh. So guys, we're actually on the German bridge and I'll tell you, give you like full details about this bridge later. So it was built by the Germans and that is why it is called the German bridge. I'm just so scared for my phone because I don't want it to fall into this water. But you remember when I talked about Asi Yami, this is going to be like a better spot for Asi Yami go to take her pictures because it's damn beautiful. Very beautiful. 
I love the greens and everything. Hey. <laughs> What's your name now? Pizarro. 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 Yeah. Pizarro. Balak. Ah, nice. Balak. Ah, ah. Is it the one in Chelsea? Are you a Chelsea fan? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Balak. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Okay, nice to meet you guys. You believe that? Please, anything? can we see your card? Can we get to see your card? Your card. Cash. Yeah, what you were able to get today? Did you fish today? Yeah. Can I see what you were able to fish? See his catch. Oh God, it looks so nice. Hey, Kiri. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Hey, Kiri. Hey, Tito. Man, I just pa. Claro. Yes, I don't see him. Thank you. As in, and you just see them. They don't. They, no. Uh, let me take selfie. Oh yeah, let me take. Let's take selfie. <laughs> How are you now? Okay, guys. People here are like happy people. I'm, I'm fine. So we are here. We get to see how you guys. Why do I always forget names of name of where is the food again? This is Taiwan Beach, huh? Okay, we are yeah. Taiwan Beach. Can we see Taiwan means? Can we see? Can we see like no, how they no, fish? Can we see them like that? Yeah, you are friends. Thank friend. you. Thank you very much. Nice. We are going to like see. Bye. Bye. Take a selfie with you. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, go. Let's take pictures. Let me take pictures. Part of it. Okay. Oh yeah, come and take picture. Okay. Let me see your touch. Nice, Emmanuel. Nice to meet you. Godwin and Emmanuel, and they are so very sweet people. Yeah. Anytime you come here, please make sure to. Oh. I'm Favor by name. Ah, I met Favor as well, and we're having a great time. They're making us have fun on this beach. This is like a very. These are like really lively people, and they're giving us the vibe we need. So when you come here. Make sure to meet them. They're amazing people, and you should buy from them as well. All right, bye bye. Tell them bye bye. Bye. Guys, I met from my video. You can tell that I met the most amazing people at the Utaiwa Beach. They are very, very sociable, and they were so welcoming and very accommodating. Guys, you just got to where they smoke the fish, so I'll, the crayfish to be precise, very precise. So I'll let you know, like. Uh, I'll just show you how they do it basically. I think I've done this before, but it's just like an updated video with your girl Tokyo. She's so tired, but we move. <laughs> so, guys, this is how they do the crayfish. So, they just spread it, and later they just put fire under there, and it's more like smoke the crayfish, and it's what you have, like you get in the market. So, this is like the fresh crayfish from the sea and that's her trying to like they spread everything the they never set the fire yet so that's her like trying to spray everything so once this thing is smoked properly it turns to orange the color automatically turns to orange basically is it orange or brown? brown or orange i don't even know <laughs> but the the crayfish color you see in the market yes it actually changes to that color so brown brown okay when they smoke for months, mm. and then it goes on to brown. Okay. After that, smoking, they mm. cover it. Oh. Oh, that's. Oh, that's. We cover it with the sack? Yes, yes this so one. We cover the heat round. Oh. So, this is so your that, stuff? So that the heat. That the this heat this fish is yours? Mm? This is mm. your own stuff? No. I don't get that. Oh, okay. So, mm. so after the smoke comes out, 
Mm. They cover the sack. The heat, the heat of the, the, heat of the fire. fire. Heat the cabbage dry. Mm. Okay. Without heat, it cannot dry. Oh. Uh, without the heat, it cannot dry. Just dry. Where you cover them, the, the heat of the fire. Mm -hmm. Make it dry, come to brown. Uh, yeah. mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Man. Thank you very much. This is a problem, government. I think you guys should provide light for the Ikotabasi people because a lady was just there is no need. There's no need. There's no need. So she's she was basically really complaining that there is no light and we are coming to video their crayfish and go and collect money they don't understand that this is just <laughs> a personal thing we are just trying to um blow up tourism in aquaibom state so please like i said aquaibom governments please provide light for these people provide light for because why is there no light i mean they need light give them light they used to have light they used to have 24 hours power supply what happened Okay, Ascon is good. Can you go on? Can you provide light for these people? And so we won't have these issues again. I mean, it's a it's a top tourist location in Akwaibom State. So please let them have light and book. So so a makeup center. So guys, I don't understand how the power plant is in this local government area, and these people don't have light. I actually really support this. So. In fact, I don't understand. Aquabum State Government, what is happening? What is happening? How do you have a power plant in a local government and these people don't have light? This is very wrong. It is so wrong. I don't care. I'm a tourist. I go to these places. I expect that there should be light. And I come here and these people are crying, protesting that there is no light. And nobody is doing anything about it. I feel like this is very wrong and this should be changed. Ah, ah, kilo day. Now, wow. Uh,